What's going on everybody? Welcome to Arrival Entertainment and today we are going to be talking about the newest film from director Martin Campbell, The Protégé. The Protégé stars Maggie Q, Michael Keaton, and Samuel L. Jackson and it tells the story of a contract killer, played by Maggie Q, who goes after revenge after a group of other killers who kills someone very close to her. And as she's on her revenge plot, she gets interwoven in this other scheme with another killer played by Michael Keaton. I know I've mentioned this a bunch of times on my channel, but I'll mention it again. I love action movies. They are my favorite genre of movies. They're the type of movies that I'm always in the mood to watch, no matter what type of mood I'm in. And so, naturally, of course, I was excited to see this movie when I saw the trailers. I also think Martin Campbell is a very competent director. He made my favorite action movie and my favorite James Bond movie of all time, Casino Royale. I own multiple copies of Casino Royale. I own those Blu-rays back there. I own a box set that has all the Daniel Craig Bond movies on 4K, including a Blu-ray copy in there. I own Casino Royale in the James Bond 50th anniversary box set, and I own two DVD copies of Casino Royale. I don't know why, that's just how I am. So seeing his name attached to this movie, as well as Samuel L. Jackson, Maggie Q, and Michael Keaton, all actors that I've enjoyed seeing in the past um, in some regard before, I was looking forward to seeing this movie. and. There's a lot to enjoy in The Protégé. When you watch an action movie, you want to see the action. And if it's poorly filmed, then it's going to sour your movie-going experience. And the action, I'm happy to say, in The Protégé is very well filmed. It's It was heavily promoted in the trailers as from the producers of John Wick. So I guess they were really trying to sell the fact that uh, Lionsgate made John Wick. So fans would expect a John Wick type of movie. This is not really a John Wick type of movie. The action is filmed very similar to John Wick, even though none of the filmmakers who made John Wick are involved with this movie. But like I've mentioned before, filmmakers are finally understanding that we don't want to see action with the camera shaking constantly, a lot of quick cuttings. We want to see long takes. We want to see the camera either, either handheld or locked down completely. And the action definitely didn't disappoint in it. It was a lot of fun to watch. It was also nice to see our three main leads heavily involved with the action. I'm not sure how much was um, stunt doubles and how much they actually did themselves, but from what I was able to tell, they did a lot of the work themselves, which is very commendable. In fact, besides performing the action, all the actors in the movie I thought did a very good job. It was very believable. You didn't feel like you were watching movie characters. You felt like you were watching these actors. And we all know Samuel L. Jackson and Michael Keaton were going to do a good job because they are very well-known actors. Maggie Q is the main focus of this movie. It's a, She's the actor that everyone's going to be paying attention to because, of course, she's the lead of this movie. And I think for the most part, she did a pretty good job. She sold the action stuff, like I said. She sold most of the emotional stuff and the intensity that her character has, although there were a couple times that I felt like there weren't enough stakes for her. You know, there were a couple times where she felt like that perfect superhero-like um, action hero a couple times here and there. It got a little better as the movie went along, but in the beginning, it really felt like she was completely untouchable, like she would, she felt like that type of character that would get in a nasty car accident and wouldn't walk out with a scratch or anything like that. But like I said, that aspect did get better as the movie went along. In fact, the action scenes, the acting, the look of the movie, it is a nice looking movie and Martin Campbell does a very good job directing this movie. Besides that, it's a pretty generic action movie and I'm a little disappointed to say that because, I don't know, I didn't really get a sense of the trailer like this was going to be the next big action movie or anything like that. I thought it was going to be a fun and enjoyable action flick and it definitely is, but I felt like I did keep that part of my brain that said maybe we'll get something different than what we've seen a bunch of other times in action flicks, and unfortunately we don't in this movie. And like I said, that was a little disappointing for me because I like the actors, I like Martin Campbell as a director, I'm just shocked a little bit that they took such a generic story. We have seen stories like this told a million times, revenge plots interwoven with contract killers and espionage type stuff, you know, it was all familiar ground. This movie didn't really have its own voice, which I think hurt the movie a little bit. And I've said this before in previous videos, and I'll mention this here too, I'm willing to forgive movies for borrowing certain elements from other movies, whether big or small, 
if it's really well done. For instance, I forgave Star Wars The Force Awakens for borrowing a lot from A New Hope because that movie was really well done in my opinion. Same thing with Creed and all the Mission Impossible movies. And for the most part, this movie does take those elements and do it well enough. But that's the thing, well enough. There were a lot in this movie that I predicted right off the bat and I eventually said to myself, I've seen this better. Martin Campbell makes a very nice looking and very well made action movie. But again, the fact that this movie doesn't have its own voice because pretty much everything in this movie has been done in some regard in other action movies before, much better I might mind you, it is worth bringing up and it is unfortunately worth a negative this time around. But I know most people who see this movie aren't really going to focus on that. They just want to see some fun, entertaining action with a somewhat intriguing plot. And does this movie have that? Yeah. The best way I can describe this movie is this is a rainy day action movie. It's a watchable movie and I do want to see the film again, probably when it comes out on Blu-ray. You can watch it and you're entertained for an hour and 50 minutes, however long this movie is. But unfortunately, after a while, the movie just kind of leaves your head and you're just like, okay, on with the next thing. This is a type of action movie, like I said, a rainy day action movie. If it's raining outside, you don't have anything to do, don't have anywhere to be, you just want to be entertained for a couple hours, maybe pop on the protege, that's probably where this movie belongs. I don't think you need to rush out to the theater to see this movie. It unfortunately isn't as good as I was hoping it would be but the movie did keep my interest. It was entertaining. The actors are great. Martin Campbell does a good enough job directing this movie. If you go in with those expectations, you should be mostly entertained with The Protégé. But like I said, I don't think you need to rush out and see this movie in the theaters. You can definitely check this movie out when it comes to the red box. A little disappointing and a little underwhelming saying that, but like I said, I was somewhat intrigued and entertained with this movie, so the movie is not really a failure. It just wasn't as good as I was hoping it would be. So guys, that's my review for The Protégé. Just like always, if you've seen the film, let me know what you thought about it down in the comment section. And what's your favorite action movie? Could be a part of a franchise, could be a solo action movie, whatever your thoughts on it is let me know down below in the comments. And as always guys, thank you again as always for watching. I got a review for The Night House I'm gonna do very soon, so look forward to that. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and share it. Subscribe right here if you haven't already. And until next time guys, take care.